Welcome back, my viewers. All right, different lake today. We're on the Bear Mills. Look, 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 a little crappie or something busting up right here. White bass. White bass, like. probably. White bass. Anyways, guys, we're on the Bear Mills today, this afternoon. We're going to start midday to evening fishing. Do something a little bit different, not morning. We're doing an evening fish. There's some noodles out. You see them? I got some noodles out in the water right now. Got Edgar here with me. Bonnix fishing. What's going on, y'all? Getting him out of the house. Oh, yeah. Getting him out of uh, yeah, I need to get quarantine. Out of <laughs> but we're gonna get out. We're gonna burn some banks this this afternoon. Seeing if the bass are gonna be biting out here. Uh, it's not totally bluebird sky. We got a few little clouds in the sky. A little bit of wind. So today might be good, man. So we, we're gonna hit some banks. See if we can see if the bass are, are shallow. We might target a little bit of crappie as well. But uh, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Hang tight. Sit back. Relax. Hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, this episode in the Bear Mills 2021. Yeah, I thought you got nailed. Oh, I just got nailed. There's one. Oh, he come off. Has it on? Has it on, Shad? Yeah, he come off. I don't know what it was. Are you? Oh, I thought he ripped my tail off my bait. Might be some fish on this side of this bluff over here. There he is. Oh, he come off again. The hell is what is it? Or there's a bad. Oh, you see all that activity? Something's chasing. He don't make the cut though. He broke the ice with the little hazard on shad. That's probably what's been hitting me. I'm trying to figure it out. I think a lot of it is uh, carp, too, that we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of carp over here. Yeah. A lot but, of carp. You know, you know, carp, I don't like seeing carp because they can withstand low oxygen over the water. Yeah. You know? And that's probably where we're at right now. The oxygen level is probably lower over here. guys a little white bass there we came to the north side of the lake we'll fish some little southward facing banks here and see if we can see if we can find anything so far it's been kind of tough picked up on a good one guys oh nice yeah. I don't, the net is way in the box you're just gonna have to help me just kind of lip him he's not I don't know if he's hooked that good. Oh, you got him. He's a nice one. Yeah, it's nice. Grab him by the belly. Yeah. Woo! Is that a three pounder? Yeah, there's a scale right there. I threw a scale in here nice, somewhere. Nice. Little spot lock right here, guys. And it has been a sucky, sucky afternoon. But when you catch one on a crankbait like this, man, it's worth it. He come off this stick right here. We saw two bass bedding on the bank up in these rocks on the dam. He come off these sticks right here and hit it. This is great because it's low, low right now, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can tell where the water level is. Yeah, check it out guys. Nice bass. I'll take it. Good in the Barrow Mills bass here. Oh, no. Put a scale. Well, here's a scale right here. I mean, it's an old, old scale, but it'll give me a approximate weight. I said three. Three pounds. He's three pounds on this. On this scale. Yeah, right on the dot. So we can. Oh, my real scale is over here. 
or put them in the box. You want to and get a weight at the end of the day? Yeah. We can do tournament that. started now. It's four o'clock. Yeah. What, what kind of tournament is this going to be? Working man's tournament. It's four o'clock. Four thirty. Well, this scale says two eleven, two pounds eleven ounces. That's more than two. Yeah. You think that's accurate? Yeah. I mean, two eleven, uh, uh, six, sixteen ounces is a, a, a full pound. Yeah. So five ounces off of a here. Three. We'll put them in the box. In the box. Yeah. That's a beautiful bass, though. Yeah. By the way. Here, show it. Show it. Let's, look at the patterns. It is beautiful. It is nice. Look at that. Healthy. Nice, yeah. healthy bass. Yeah. Nice healthy bass. And guys, I got to show you what I caught it on. Y'all are going to trip the hell out. Huh? I said my viewers are going to trip the hell out and see what I caught it on. Yeah. All right, guys. While I was deer hunting Corland this, this past season, I stumbled across lots of baits. So I would pick them up and bring them home, right? This one, put new hooks on it. Got some gray marker, touched it up a little bit. Put a little bit of a green uh, tail on it. A little, not chartreuse, but green. Man, this might be the secret bait, guys. This might be the one that catches them all. But isn't that wild? Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You got that blue yeah. Well, he was peeling drag. It was, it's a fighter, man. You see that? It started jumping too. Yeah. Look at that. What's chasing that right there? That's a small bass. You saw it? Yeah, a small little black bass. <laughs> it was about this long. Chasing uh, that. Right a bass, wasn't it? I hooked up on another good one, guys. Another good one. We'll bring it to you. We'll bring it to you. Bring it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's bigger than the other one. He's hooked in the gill. They're not hitting it. They're swiping. They're swiping at it. Don't let just grab him by the lip. I don't want to get stuck with it. I'm like, not. You're not going to get stuck. With this motherfucker. Side swiping, guys. Side swiping crankbaits. They're just That's all it is. Hitting. All of these bass that we're seeing on this dam are paired up together. They're paired up. Well, we saw two, two right next Yeah. To so we're trying to figure out, well, do we throw a jig at them? Do we throw a worm, a cinco? Think about the technique. If they side swipe a crankbait, they're going to hook themselves. Yeah, period. Yeah. So, check it out. Look at the tail. Spawning bass on the dam. Yeah, it's spawning. Here. Get a this spot lock right here. I for think the other one's bigger. It's right here. We got a we got a tournament weight going on now. Now we now we're placing. We're going to be in top five now. <laughs> Sure. These two fish you top five already, bro. This one's two seven. The other one was two eleven. You top five already, bro. You don't think so? I switched it up because I was getting stuck with my homemade, or not my homemade bait, but my refurbished bait. Yeah, you're getting hung. Uh, I went ahead and went with a uh, rock crawler spro, and you see the bill is rounder, so it's deflecting a little bit better on the Are rocks. You this one, keep trying with this drip bait? I think you need to throw something like what I got on. Oh, I got more rock crawlers. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is just chunking it right on the edge of the rocks. Because it drops off to about seven or eight foot yeah. right off the edge. It's uh, like three foot, three, three, or four, three or four foot and then it drops off. Yeah. yeah. Down to depth, depth up there. And they're hanging out in there. The last two that I caught, is my crankbait hit a rock, and when it deflected, it was a reaction swipe. Because they're not taking it in the mouth. I've hooked both of those fish. I hooked were on the gills. Oh, you got one on the side of the mouth. Yeah. Side of the mouth and gill. The first one. 
gosh, there's a third one. Ah, uh, white bass. White bass. Ah, ah, huh? It's a good white bass. Yeah, but man, I thought it was bass, bro. Yeah. The way it hit me. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Didn't I? You heard me say, "Man, I just got hit. I just got hit." He's a good one. Ah. I don't know. He's big enough, but I don't feel like cleaning nothing today. Ah, went to push record and I gave him that little bit of slack. It happens to me all the time. Should have made sure he was hooked up good. Just lost one, guys. Yeah, he was little. Not big, he's not big. He's a bass. Not big, but he's a bass. Is it legal? Is it making weight? Nah, I don't even think he's legal. He's not making weight? No, he's not making weight. He ain't making weight. He ain't even making an ounce. He ain't making an announcement? <laughs> the camera, he ain't even making the camera time? No, he didn't even make camera time. Damn. He didn't make camera time. As soon as I turned off the camera, I hooked him up. Huh? Yeah, you got the you got the monkey off your back, huh? Finally. Huh. Oh, that sucker's black. He's spawning. Yeah, I know. And I chunked there three times. And I didn't get no bite. Okay. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna fish this little. Spill we spill spill we spill way concrete pillar here. Try to get us close. It's leaving it off the uh, ground like a foot, foot and a half, and letting them tug on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one, yeah. Nice. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Boat flip. Nice. That's a, that's a dunk. <laughs> you said that's a dunk. Oh yeah. Nice. You can you can take them home with you. I don't know, if we limit out, then we're keeping them. Take care. Good. It picks, it picks up really good as well. I'll take them down there. That's a nice one. Yeah. 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 It's a big one. It's a fat one. It is. All right. It worked out like we wanted to. Huh? I said it worked out like we wanted to. Huh? <laughs> it worked out like, like we wanted it to. Sure did. That's good calling it. Doesn't it feel good calling it at least? You know what? He was right there by those little square things. I'm changing that color. Changing the color, huh? <laughs> it's a big one, man. Darker color? I'm going darker color, too. I'm going to change something up. Just got to experiment, guys. That's all you got to do. It was a good color change, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, man. We're gonna have us a dang limit before long. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Right. You'll go. You'll go. Yeah. I might have to switch over to that color, black. Or a uh, uh, bait fish color looking like. Mm-hmm. White. No, you, you already tried white. No. Yeah, it was bit getting bites. It was getting bites. Look at that sunset. All right, guys, we're gonna go try one more spot before we put the boat in 
And we did pretty good. Caught a few crappie off that concrete spillway. So before it gets dark, we want to try a couple of more spots. We might get into the crappie house here before we leave and see if we can catch a few more. But we're going to try another spot real quick. All right, guys, we're loaded up. We're going to go ahead and call it. We had a decent day. Caught a few crappie there at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Figured out that they were pretty deep in about eight to 10 foot of water and uh, we we're just dropping right on them. And, uh, pulled out a few, so Edgar's gonna take a few home today. Uh, so all in all, it was kind of tough. Um, the bass are betting, we know that. Yeah, we, we know that. We've seen, seen it with our eyes. Uh, you got anything to say? Uh, no, nah, man, it's either the lock, once they're done locking down, they're gonna be hungry and they're not gonna chase much. So the, the way we caught them, we actually sideswiped them with crankbaits. So, uh, yeah, so they weren't hitting it out of hunger or anything, just moving it off beds. It's going to be dead a lot for a while. Yep, uh, it's going to be like that for a while. But anyways, guys, we'll probably get out, do some crappie fishing again here pretty soon. Uh, got some more videos I want to put out. I want to get out there and do some catfishing again this year. So, uh, anyway, stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for viewing. Give me a like, thumbs up. Appreciate your subs, uh, and until next time, we'll catch you on the water. Bonix Fishing, Abotello Outdoors, peace out.